Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are having such a great day. I know it might not be morning for you, but it is definitely morning for me as I am filming this. I am just having my cup of coffee. I just dropped off the kids at school. I wanted to get a jump start on this today so I can um, run around and do the rest of my errands. And this honestly doesn't take that long. And we're doing a new front door refresh. So I wanted to bring you guys along. This is going to be my last one for a little while. Just because this is going to be my spring, summer, my brighter one that's going to typically last until fall. If I touch it up or tweak it, I'll definitely let you guys know on the Instagram side. But yeah, we're going to try and do this all at Walmart today. I did pick up a new doormat, a really cute leopard doormat, which I'll show you guys later in the video when it's all done, um, that I picked up at Hobby Lobby for under $20. So that's kind of today's theme. Let's do a whole front row refresh and everything has to be under $20. There are a couple things that like I've already got before in my last front row refresh you guys saw that I already got those lanterns. I'm going to try and use those today. I did buy a pot and put um, the kids wanted to like plant some flowers a couple weeks ago. So they did that. They picked out all the flowers, all the pot and everything and just wanted a black pot to kind of match um, the theme that we kind of have going on. You'll see that in a little bit. But I want to see everything that we can find. Last time when we did this, they had so much good floral for a front door that you can just rinse down and everything at Walmart. So this is a smaller Walmart that I don't normally go to, but this one will be fine. I'm excited to see what they have, um, and I want to bring you guys along. So come on, let's go have fun. I was just in the clearance section and every time I'm editing I sit there for a couple hours for each one and my wrist I have carpal tunnel and it kills me so for $5 I'll keep it in the drawer it's not the prettiest so I'm not using it I'll just put it away but this is gonna be a lifesaver $5 you guys how do we not love Walmart this is about 50% off over 50% off Deal. I went ahead and picked up my wreath. This is an 18 inch wreath you guys know this is kind of my preferred size and I don't mind that this is kind of at a non-perfect circle. I think that's gonna be fine because even if I wanted to do it more like that, it actually works out perfect. So I think it honestly just depends on the angle that you put it. And then look at all the pretty colors. I'm already seeing some that I really like. Like, Look at how pretty these are. How fun are these? They're super, super cool. Let's see all the goodies that we can come up with. They have a ton of options. I know I wanted some pink, more like a bright pink. So I might have to go and get something like this and then only use some of the brighter colors. I don't know, we're gonna do some digging. Ooh, this is perfect. I love these, you guys. We like this. All right, so far this is what we got. You guys saw that I got these last time. They're super expensive and they add so much. I got four of these. These are gonna act just like my little picks. I love the brightness. And then these are only a dollar. I got three, I can only pull three of them that look pretty good, but I love the color on this. I got these two, which I think are super fun, and I love the texture and whimsiness of them. And then I got this to break it up a little bit. I could use all of it, but I'll show you once it all comes together. I still haven't decided if I'm for sure gonna use this. But I wanted something to break it up just in case. So this is, I think, the most expensive item. I think this was like six bucks. So if I don't use it, I'll return it. It's not that big of a deal. We are done shopping. It's a little bit of therapy. I don't get to go to Walmart that often. I could. It's just a little farther and I get suckered into like trying to find all their little goodies. Like they have, um, they just have different stuff. So I like going in there, I like checking it out. I feel like all the moms are in there kind of like getting their little therapy session done too. So we got some good stuff. I overbought per usual. And I'm excited to put it all together. I'm gonna go home before I even like get ready. 
I am gonna be out like trying to clean everything. So I'm not even gonna like fully get ready for you guys today. This is what you're gonna get. So I'm gonna go home. I got a little bit of groceries too. And I need to put all that away. I need to make myself a little something to eat. And then um, I'm gonna start concocting. I'm gonna start on my wreath. There's a little bit I need to paint. There's a couple things I didn't show you guys that I got. So you'll have to wait for the end of the video to see it all kind of come full circle. I'm sorry there's this glare here, but it's not a good place to set my camera. I am using my phone today. Um, and I'm happy that it's super, super easy because even a little bit of filming I did do in the store, whew, I got the looks and the questions and this sweet little veteran asked me, he's like, what are you recording? What are you doing? You know? And so kind of telling him about that. So he is now one of our new subscribers. So hello, sir. And thank you for your service. But let's get back home. Let's go ahead and unpack get everything cleaned up at the house let's kind of get my day going like I said I came here right after dropping off the kids from school and I have not done much besides put on halfway decent clothes make a cup of coffee and brush my teeth so let's go home and get our day going all right we got a little setup going I still need to do my tripod so you can kind of watch me do this but I might to show you bits and pieces at a time. I'm using the lid to my crafting container in case like anything drips. I have extra glue sticks, my little cutters, my drink of course, have to stay hydrated. This is my 18 inch wreath I have ready to go. My brown pipe cleaners, cause again, I'm working with Grapevine. So I like to use the brown pipe cleaners. This is the ribbon that I picked up and it does have wire, um, but I have this and I think this might be a little bit more fun. So we're we might try this one. I don't know. We haven't decided yet. And then this I got is a little backup. You guys have seen these. And then this is going to use as like my picks and then the different colors. So let's try and mix all this up. Let's start, let's start seeing how this all lays out. And then I'll show you everything else that I got to kind of oomph up the front door. Okay. So I did get a little P, which is that's for our last name. And what I'm going to do is kind of take my little tool here and take out the papers and the staples. I might not be able to get that one. Yeah, I did. And what I'm gonna do is I just have a little tin foil. You can do paper plate, you can do whatever you like. We have a lot of tin foil for some reason. Every time I go to the store, I think that we need more. So I'm gonna go ahead and I got this all at Walmart. I'm gonna link everything that I can. And what I'm gonna do is just open it up. And then I buy their little painting kits for my kids. I'm gonna just grab a little brush. And I'm gonna paint it black. It's really easy to do this too with um, like spray paint. That's probably like even easier to do it if you just spray paint it. But I'm just gonna do a couple drops. More than a couple drops. <laughs> and I'm just going to paint it black. And then I don't really care about how messy I get. I just want to make sure I am covering everything evenly and it looks nice and get the edges and everything too. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and get that all painted. Okay, so I've cut a couple pieces. I've marked my center and what I like to do is I just cut off an end. I cut them off the stems, then I come off here and then I kind of set them all kind of off to the center. And what I'm gonna do, just like I did this one, is I'm going to refill my glue. <laughs> Just put a glob on there and shove it in. If they need to be cut, so you can cut more, but I like to shove them in where I like them to kind of do a filler spot. So I know they're still a little too long, so this one I'm gonna do shorter. And you don't need much, it just kind of stabilizes it. You can see that's still pretty short, and I'm gonna do the same kind of distance, find a good spot, and I'm gonna shove it in. Now I know I kind of want to do some different stuff. And I know there's going to be a lot of paint. Very aware of that. That's kind of the plan here. And what I'm doing with this one, the stems are really fat. So I'm kind of cutting it at an angle to make like a point. Can you guys see that? And I'm going to do the same kind of thing as just kind of shove them in. But I want to do them up top in that too. And it just kind of gives different texture and different 
variation. All right, so this is what we have so far. I feel like I'm gonna add some more of these little green guys because they're just funky and cool. Um, and they just add so much texture. So I haven't decided if I'm gonna hang it like this. I'm probably gonna hang it like this because I like that look better. And then um, I'm gonna do the P here with some ribbon. I did the ribbon and I kind of did the crisscross. If you see my other videos, you've seen me do it. And then they have wire in them. So I just kind of crinkle them up and then I do a pipe cleaner to tie it all together and then I have it twisted on the back. I did wanna show you too that see how some of these kind of poke through. So if you're worried about them scratching up the door because they have metal in them, you just take your little cutters and cut them off. All right, here's the finished product, you guys, and I think it turned out really cute. I wanted to add a little bit of different texture, and I love leopard. You guys know this, so I wanted to add this. This we've already had. The lanterns we already had. We just got it all cleaned up. This was just a plain black pot that I just added some burlap. I did not glue it because I don't, I don't know how that's going to come off, but these are all the flowers that my kids planted and picked themselves, and then we were at the store one day, and they found this little guy and they wanted to have it so I just put it in there for them but yeah this is the wreath it turned out really good I did just a little pipe clean on there which I think I'm actually going to make shorter because you can really notice it but look at how cute this turned out and everything was hot glued this was all Walmart you guys this is super easy I hope you guys really enjoyed I'll give you some more close-up shots just a reminder the candles make sure that they're indoor and outdoor especially in the heat in these warmer climates you really want to make sure that they can um, withhold the heat and i know you can really see with this angle that the mat is not center for someone like me i struggle with that so bad but realistically i had to do that this is a really small area and when i had the lanterns over here they kept getting knocked over so i just swapped it and if it's a little off center you guys the presentation in itself is what people will see overall and not pick apart bits and pieces. You're going to be harder on yourself than other people are going to be on you, but I think it's really fun. Like I said, I wanted to do lots of pink. I love pink and leopard. And then with the black and white stripes and the P, I just think it adds so much. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think of it. Make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe, and that notification bell on. So every time we come on YouTube, I can come hang out with you guys and you guys will be notified there first. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye.